our channel RJ Automobile, a channel of YouTube on which we discuss about each and every part of an automobile. So in order to that, today we are going to discuss a very interesting topic that is ignition system of an IV engine. So guys, you all know about the combustion takes place inside an engine cylinder, but how? So because of the ignition system, the combustion takes place inside an engine cylinder. So guys, think about it. For the spark inside an engine cylinder, only the 12 volt of the battery is present outside of engine cylinder mills and the car. So the 12 volt of a battery or 24 volt of a battery is how converted into the very high volt of a current. That is a very good question. So guys, to learn the answer of this question or clear your doubts, please watch our video till the very last second. So guys, our today's topic is ignition system of an IC engine. So guys, the basic parts of an ignition system is like battery, ignition coil, contact breaker, chamber, distributor and spark plug. And the most important thing that is engine cylinder. So guys, when we switch on at that time the 12 volt of the battery is comes out from the positive terminal through this wire or line so guys you can have a look here there is a primary winding and secondary winding two coils are present here uh, in the ignition coil you can have a look here the secondary winding is, mm, is more in number as compared to the primary winding now this 12 volt is passes through this primary winding and goes through the contact breaker chamber. Now in the contact breaker chamber, there is basic three parts. First one is a cam lobe which is directly connected to the crankshaft of an engine. And second one is a contact breaker arm. This one is a contact breaker arm and third one is a condenser. So guys, when engine starts, at that time, crankshaft also starts rotation and then cam lobe also starts rotation so when cam lobe rotate means upper side of the cam as comes in this position at that time this pushes the contact breaker arm means this push this arm to the up direction and contact is break means contact arm goes upside and the contact the contact is break here and 12 volt is not passing through this line means now the 12 volt is rest from this line only and now because of this breaking of the current very high amount of the back emf is generated here so that's why we use a condenser. This condenser absorbs the high amount of the back EMF. At that time, in the secondary coil, also the very high amount of the EMF is generated. And because of that, 12 volt of current is converted into the very high amount of current, around 13,000 to 22,000 volt. It can be more or less because of this secondary winding. Here the secondary winding is more as compared to the primary winding that's why high amount of the EMF is generated and hence finally we have the very high amount of current. Now this high amount of the current around 13,000 to 22,000 volt is passes through this line and goes to the distributor and the distributor a rotor is present and also four distributor points are present. This distributor points are depends on the number of the cylinder or the number of spark plug. If there, uh, if there is four cylinder engine, the four distributor points are present. Here I take the four cylinder engine, that's why your uh, four distributor points are present. So guys, this high voltage current is comes to this rotor, um, means this distributor and directly goes through this rotor and uh, when the rotor rotates because the high voltage current is present in this rotor so when it comes in contact with the distributor point the high amount of the voltage is jump to this distributor point through the air and goes to the spark plug 
and a spark takes place inside an engine cylinder. Same here, if the rot uh, rotor rotates and go and reach to this distributor point, this again uh, voltage is jumped to this distributor point and goes through the uh, and goes through this pipeline to the spark plug and uh, again for and same for the distributor point uh, this distributor point and this too and finally spark takes place inside an engine cylinder and and combustion takes place means power is generated and our vehicle moves from one place to another place so guys this is the ignition system of an IC engine thank you so thanks for watching guys our today's video guys i want to tell you something actually this ignition system is work only for the gasoline engine for the diesel engine there is a no ignition system because there is a very high compression ratio when the air fuel mixture is compresses the air fuel is self ignite and combustion takes place there's no need of the ignition system in the diesel engine only in the gasoline engine ignition system is required so guys uh, so guys this is the ignition system if you like our videos please hit the like button here below and share this video to your friends subscribe our channel so, and if you want more videos about any other topic please comment here below remember guys we will respond to all of your comments thank you guys